Have you ever wondered what profession Bluey will have when she grows up, or if Rusty will really become a sports superstar one day? The future of the beloved characters from the Bluey series is something that fans have surely thought about at some point. That's why we've imagined the future of some of the characters based on the traits they've shown throughout the series. Check it all out with us right now. Bingo! Bingo, without a doubt, is one of the characters whose future and profession are easy to guess. This is because we can see the great affinity that the youngest healer has with a very specific aspect of life, animals, especially insects, which attract the attention of Bluey's little sister, as we can see in various episodes. This easily leads us to deduce that Bingo has all the conditions to be a highly successful biologist. Furthermore, we can notice her affinity with sciences when we see that as she and Leela grow up, they participate and win first place in a science fair. And Alongside the girls, we can see a volcano that they probably built for the school event. This further demonstrates that Bingo has everything to be a scientist in the field of biology, and most likely also a university professor. Can you imagine Bingo creating songs to help her students memorize things in her biology class? That would be incredible to see. It was perfect. Judo. Judo is a girl who cares a lot about her appearance. This is a trait inherited from the upbringing Wendy, her mother, subjected her to. And although she plays in the mud from time to time, we can see that the girl's true calling is in the aesthetic field. So, it's very easy to imagine that Judo could become a very successful owner of a high-end beauty salon. When she's playing telephone with Bluey, it almost seems like she's training for her life as a successful beauty industry entrepreneur. I like to imagine that all her childhood friends, like Bluey and Coco, will be her clients and thus remember the old times when they were kids. Rusty. Certainly, just like Bingo, it's very easy to perceive what Rusty's future will be from everything we see in the Bluey's episodes. Despite the little red Kelpie playing army with Jack, inspired by his father's profession, he probably won't follow that path, because Rusty is simply, in Bandit's words, a sports phenomenon. This is very clear, as we see a six-year-old boy playing cricket on an equal footing with adults like Bandit and others. Although not a very popular sport in the western part of the world, cricket is one of the most popular sports in countries of British origin or colonization, such as England, Australia, India, and South Africa. To give you an idea, some of the highest paid athletes in the world are cricket professionals, earning up to $2 million per year. We're rooting for you, Rusty! Chloe. Chloe is one of Bluey's best friends, and among all the characters' houses that have appeared so far in the Bluey series, her family's house is currently the most highly valued in terms of worth, worth about $2 million today. This shows that Chloe's family has a very stable financial condition. Following this line of thought and logic, we can deduce that Chloe is likely to become a very successful professional in the field of medicine, one of the most valued jobs in most parts of the world. If I were to guess, I would say that besides being a doctor, Chloe will become the pediatrician responsible for helping to take care of the children of all her school friends, like Bluey, Snickers, and Winton. Thus, maintaining contact with all her friends and keeping up with the new generation of Bluey's pups, who will become parents. Now. Let's talk about our main character. But before that, if you also really enjoy Bluey and animated series, let me give you a suggestion. Subscribe to the channel here to receive the coolest videos about movies and cartoons. You'll definitely enjoy it a lot. Without a doubt, Bluey has many talents, but singing is definitely not one of them. Ah, can we get the one of the things that really grabs my attention about Bluey is her affinity for books, which we can see when she comes up with the idea to play library with Bingo and Muffin. Moreover, Bluey loves reading and books so much that when we see her older, in adolescence, at the end of the camping episode, when she reunites with Jean-Luc, she's exactly reading a book under the tree that she and her French friend planted years before. So, based on all this, we can see that Bluey has the potential to become a highly successful writer. And I'll go further. If she tells stories from her childhood, she'll have everything to be a very successful writer of children's and young adult stories. If this comes true, I would love to have a book written by Bluey. And you? Mackenzie. Since we talked about Jean-Luc, we've got to discuss the other crush that fans love to ship with Bluey. Mackenzie. The little border collie is Bluey's classmate and lives close to the healer family's house, close enough to walk there. Mackenzie has an adventurous profile and enjoys facing challenges. My guess is that after the episode where Teacher Calypso helps Mackenzie overcome his childhood trauma when he thought his mother had abandoned him at the playground, he must have thought a lot about how powerful the mind can be. This would eventually lead him down the path of psychology, becoming an expert in childhood traumas, thus helping other children overcome their problems just as he did. Surely, he could provide support to all the children of his former schoolmates as well, just like Chloe. Muffin! One of Bluey and Bingo's cousin's trademarks is being very headstrong, bossy, and even rude at times. Uh, I can handle it. Which makes me think that Muffin's future teachers will certainly have their hands full. 
Oh boy, here comes the meltdown. When talking and thinking about Muffin, I like to think about something called karma, where everything you do might come back to you in the future. So it's fitting to imagine that Muffin could perfectly well become a teacher when she grows up, and who knows, end up going through everything her teachers went through. Moreover, when Bluey is a teenager, we notice from their conversation that the book Bluey picks up belongs to Muffin, showing that when she grows up, she'll have a keen interest in reading, which is a characteristic every teacher should have, a love for literature. So who knows, Bluey and Mackenzie's or Bluey and Jean-Luc's pups might end up becoming students of Teacher Muffin, right? And since we're talking about teachers in classrooms, comment below what your favorite subject was or is, and which one you least like to study. We want to know. I love history, but I'm not very good at math. <laughs> now it's your turn. Write it down here in the comments. These are the books. Wow! Indy. Indy is one of Bluey's best friends, and we can see that she enjoys playing games that always involve group play with many people at the same time. Besides, she's the kind of character who has a strong protective instinct, which is evident when she plays mommy in hospital with her friends and classmates. These are proven traits of people who work in healthcare, where care and appreciation are very important factors. And the hospital game couldn't be more accurate, as I'm almost certain that Indy would be a sensational nurse. Maybe she could even end up working in partnership with Chloe at some point in the future. That would be really cool. Jack. Now let's talk about Rusty's great friend, Jack. From the words of the little dog himself, we can see that he has a little difficulty with numbers and words, which might be associated with a possible case of dyslexia. People with this profile usually enjoy developing more practical and action-oriented activities. And inspired by the game that Jack and Rusty like to play, it's easy to imagine that at some point, the little pup will enlist and try to serve in the Australian army when he's older and of age to do so, following, in a way, the steps of Rusty's father, who inspired the childhood game of the two friends. Moreover, Jack might have liked receiving condensed milk so much that he might imagine he'll get more when he's in the army. <laughs> But speaking seriously, Jack really has a profile of discipline and friendship that are very important for pursuing a military career, indicating that he has everything to succeed in this profession. Winton. Winton is one of Bluey's classmates who I think is really cool because he's truly the epitome of friendliness. Winton? Yes? Winton. <laughs> Besides that, we see that the little bulldog already helps his dad sell apples at the market where Bluey and Indy are debating how to spend their $5, which means he's already very collaborative and well-organized from a young age. Looking at all this, we can imagine that Winton could very well be a great professional chef and perhaps even have his own restaurant, where he could welcome all his friends at a large table just like they did when they were kids. It would be so cool to see the famous chef Winton preparing a special dinner at the alumni reunion where everyone could meet up and eat a lot. This is the future of the Bluey characters that we imagine and believe will happen. We're leaving two very cool videos for you to keep enjoying here with us. I heard the video on the left is really good. Thanks, and until next time.